I am going to attempt to answer this question the best I can. I've been watching your videos for the past three months and I get most of them, but these kind of videos are what I don't get. You did videos before about this, but I still don't understand it or how it works or, or why someone should do it. Why would someone lock their, f their FPS? Isn't the reason why we buy new GPUs and CPUs is to get more FPS? So why lock at lower FPS? I don't get it. Also about the GPU utilization, you keep it low. I don't get it. <laughs> Everyone wants the GPU to be at 100% so you don't leave any performance on the table. So why purposely keep it low? Why do you do all of this? What do you gain? What advantages do you get with? What is the difference between what you're doing and someone who doesn't do all of this and keeps the GPU full and lets the FPS run? I have so many questions. If you get a 4090, will you do the same thing to it? <laughs> like, like if I'm going to do something bad to the 4090. Just what is the thinking and reasoning to do this? Okay, I understand. I understand the confusion because nobody does this. <laughs> okay. And the reason why people are not going to do this is because they don't have an OLED display. Okay. So if your display is a sample and hold uh, monitor or TV, it's not an OLED and it doesn't have this black frame insertion, uh, of course, you want to use VRR if the display supports variable refresh rate and play your games and you want your GPU to be at 100% all the time and gives you, uh, give you as many frames per second as you can. So you don't leave any performance on the table. That's totally understandable and that's what everyone else is doing. But let me explain you why I am keeping the frame rate cap to 60 here on Cyberpunk and why I want this GPU uh, utilization, which right now is like 66%, why I want that low? What's the reasoning behind it? So what if I don't do it? <laughs> so with these same settings that I am using right now, if I don't cap the frame rate, and I don't use black frame insertion and I use uh, G-Sync on my NVIDIA GPU, the game is going to be running at about 80 to 90 frames per second. So you might think, well, that's better. If you can get 80 or 90 frames per second, that's better than 60. No, <laughs> because I am getting 60, but I am using black frame insertion. So Motion Pro on this LG C1, and I think every single OLED display on the market supports black frame insertion at 60. Uh, some of them have their black frame insertion broken for some reason. Uh, I saw a Panasonic uh, review from HDTV test that the black frame insertion was not working. But most of them have black frame insertion at 60. So what that does is that it doubles. Actually, it more, <laughs> more than doubles the, the motion clarity. But let's say that it doubles the motion clarity. So what that means is that the game, when you move the camera like this, if you move the camera like this, the game looks like if it's running at 120, so it doesn't feel like 120 frames, but it looks like 120. So by capping the frame at 60, the game is now looking like 120. So if I don't do this and I get 80 to 90 frames, the game is not going to look as good. It's actually going to look a lot worse, okay? And the responsiveness is not going to be that much better because when you use G-Sync or variable refresh rate, the input lag is worse. What? Yes, it is worse it's because the GPU has to be at 100%. So when the GPU is working at 100%, the input lag is worse. So now we have on NVIDIA, we have ultra low latency mode, which it works. It works when the GPU is working uh, almost at maximum by buffering three frames, buffering some frames so you get a better and improved uh, responsiveness. 
but at 80, 90 frames per second with the GPU working at 100%, the responsiveness is going to be very similar to 60 with the GPU working at 66, 67%, okay? So in this way, the game is always, all the time, the game is looking like 120 frames per second. So that is awesome. So you get a consistency on the picture quality all the time. All the gaming experience is exactly the same, no matter what, it's never going to drop. So that gives you the best gaming experience. It's just amazing. And the responsiveness is great because the GPU utilization is low. So what if I don't do that? Let me show you. So now you see that I'm getting 60 frames. Let me just try for a moment. So you see that it's never gonna drop. 80%, 81, the worst case scenario, but it's always, almost always below 80, okay? So when it gets to, let's say a very demanding scene, it goes to 90%. I feel that the input lag, after 80%, the input lag, is not as good okay so you can for example you can instead of locking the frame rate you can run the uh, 120 Hertz no v-sync and the game is going to feel a little bit more responsive but when you do this you're going to get judder what is called judder uh, is basically you see the, the the picture is shaky so it looks like this so it jumps. When you do this, it, it going, it's going to look jumpy, okay? So the responsiveness is going to be great, but it's going to look jumpy. So for example, on the console, you are better off using 120 hertz, even if the game is at 60, because and not use VRR, because that's going to give you a, a better a responsiveness. But it's not going to look the best. It's going to look jumpy, you're going to get judder, so it's not gonna be the best uh, experience. So let me, for example, let me see if I can, if I can do some, if I can show you the input lag here. And then I'm going to show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn off after this, I'm going to turn off. So hopefully you can see the, the responsiveness here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn it off. I'm gonna turn off Motion Pro and I'm going to turn on G-Sync. So you see the difference in responsiveness okay so i already told you the difference in how it looks so it's, it looks all the time like 120 frames okay so now by using g-sync i am not going to get that graphical uh so i'm not going to get that motion clarity not at all not even close but let's let's see the input lag let's see what about the input lag so you see the input lag here so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to change this I'm going to change the resolution to 120 and I'm going to use, I'm going to turn off uh, black frame insertion and I am going to use G-Sync instead. So Motion Pro off and I am going to use G-Sync. So here what I have to do, to not have any problems, I have to do it at the same time because I am deleting uh, a 4096 by 2160 resolution that this LG C1 has to prevent some problems with the aspect ratio sometimes in some games. And I have to do it simultaneously, otherwise it doesn't work very well. And for G-Sync, you always want to use enable for window it and full screen mode to prevent tearing if the game goes beyond 120 frames and you want to use uh, nvidia ultra low latency mode which i don't use <laughs> because i much rather have 120 than 117 frames the input lag is not <laughs> is not noticeable and i do miss those three <laughs> last frames but if you want the best latency this is going to help you when the GPU is close to 100% by doing that buffering with the frames. And you also want to force uh, V-Sync 
on the NVIDIA control panel, you always want to force that and turn it off on the game. That's the best way to use G-Sync as far as I know. And again, I'm not an expert. I just test all of this. I test all the options. <laughs> I, don't, I don't assume anything. I test every single option that I have available. So now let me set up the one of the options with HDR here on the game. I'm going to turn on HDR and I'm going to use so the HDR settings here I'm gonna use 600 this is going to give you this is gonna give me 797 max CLL for this LGC one that's perfect and I have to fix the settings on the TV let me make sure that I have the correct settings here on the TV because this game has the black level race so this is gonna be minus 16 to crush that black level race minus 16 and I have to increase the screen brightness back to the default values and just have auto the black level on auto okay so that's how we want that's how we want to set this up for now and now let's take a look at it so we are getting let me get rid of the frame rate cap that I have here with Riva Turner so I was using Riva Turner to cap the frame rate so now let's see how it feels let's see how it looks and how it feels so now I'm getting 91 90 frames per second 89 so from 80 to 90 frames per second so now let's see how it feels in the same place 78 70 frames per second 70 frames 76 so see how it feels now see if you can if you can notice any any difference 78 69 67 frames per second why is that <laughs> why is the game running at 68 frames per second my GPU is not is not being fully utilized look at it 78% 79 why is that 63 60 frames per second <laughs> what's going on what's going on is that I am, I, I am CPU bound <laughs> okay and I have a 5800X 3D. So that performance that I was supposed, supposedly, I was supposedly giving performance, you know, leaving performance on the table, that's not the case <laughs> because the CPU is, is limited. Uh, so the, the CPU is a limitation sometimes. So that's the problem. So for some reason now, this is not, this is not expected. Something, something is not working right here because it's not supposed to be that, that bad. Let me see what's going on. So we have high settings, combination of high and ultra settings. I just need to lower the, the reflections, the screen space reflections to high, and everything else is, is ultra and ray tracing off, and DLSS quality at 4K. Let me change the the settings here and go back and forth let me go back to 4k because that performance is tanking for some reason it shouldn't be that bad 40 45 frames yeah sometimes the game when you go back to when you go you know back and forth from full screen and you go back to the desk to desktop that sometimes happens this is not expected let me see if I can fix it because I'm not repeating this video. <laughs> I do the videos one try. I, I never repeat any videos. So let's see. Why is that happening? Let me go back to the menu. Let me go back to the main menu. And see if we load the game again. Because this is not expected. The game is not CPU bound like that. Something happened. Changing the settings and going back and forth. But that's the, that's the point. The point is you get even with a cpu not being a limitation i am getting with the same settings 80 to 90 frames per second okay but because i have to use g-sync and because with g-sync the gpu is at 100 percent even using this nvidia ultra low latency mode is still not going to give me a better uh, responsiveness 
it's, it may be a little bit better than at 60 with the GPU working like at 60 percent 70 80 percent it might be a little bit better but not significantly enough and now 80 to 90 frames looks a lot worse than 60 with black frame insertion now you can get a better HDR for sure because black frame insertion is killing the the peak brightness this something happened like I would need to open the game one more time something just happened yeah with this opening and back and forth with the settings the game for some reason is not oh I know I know I know because of the of the G-Sync okay well let's open the game one more time let's open the game one more time because you know changing from G-Sync and and all of that is it sometimes it messes up the it messes up the settings the game sometimes the game just crash let's just open the game one more time and now I should work good yeah that's why it's difficult to make these videos because the game you know when you change from G-Sync the game crash or or this happens but I'm gonna show you now you will see that is what I'm telling you and you can go back to the to the part where I show you the input lag with the 60 and compare it okay yeah so now it should have no problem and the game saves the file with the same car on the same place so it's gonna be uh, good to compare so yeah I totally understand uh, because nobody is, is doing this because people don't have this black frame insertion option on their monitors so they are going to recommend you you want the GPU to be at 100% all the time because that's what makes sense but not here <laughs> of course it is better if I can get uh, 120 with these settings but I cannot <laughs> I cannot get it so I would need to lower the resolution or use NVIDIA image scaling and I can get a hundred and it drops to 90 so it's the same thing at the end so you see the game is running at 90 94 90 89 87 88 so look at the input lag with G-Sync it stuttered there yeah so look at the input lag it's good but this is not this is not significantly better than it's about the same as what I was getting with the 60 and now the picture quality so now the motion resolution is horrendous <laughs> it's not even close man 70 78 frames when I move the camera this is just bad man just very bad yeah but the game is not working right for some reason this change just messed up the game for some reason but now it is you know 99% the GPU I'm getting 72 frames yeah something happened with the game it's stuttering like crazy but you get my point you get my point when it's working you see it and it is it's not good <laughs> it's not a better option the HDR is better though because you don't get the the brightness loss but yeah something is happening I might need to restart the computer because it's just stopping the GPU is stopping stops working for some reason yeah this is bad <laughs> these things happen on the PC you might need to restart and and then everything is, is work it's gonna be working fine the problems I've been having in switching back and forth from G-Sync uh, on and off is that I need to delete this uh, resolution that the TV comes with which is this 4096 by 2160 because some game I need to delete that with a CRU app because some games uh, are stretched if I don't do that but doing that causes a problem with uh, G-Sync and things like this can happen sometimes it just doesn't work very well and you have to restart the computer or restart the the GPU drivers which I can do it with the CRU app but yeah you get my point I get 70 80 90 frames that's not better than 120 it doesn't feel better 
the HDR is better though, of course, because you don't lose the brightness uh, that you would lose with black frame insertion. But yeah, it is not worth it. <laughs> I might lower the resolution of the game and get like 120, but then I am getting less less fidelity. So yeah, let me know if you still have a question.